We are at the Wave in Bristol, picturesque southwest England, one of the latest Wave Garden Co. artificial wave facilities. This is the second vlog where we are going to share the starting point of our surfing journey as we try and work out how helpful surfing at a wave pool like this can be for an average surfer. My name is James Davis and I've been skydiving for over 22 years, competing and jumping all around the world. I want to find out if the latest wave pools can do for surfing what wind tunnels did for skydiving. I'm going to see if an average UK based surfer can train at the wave garden in Bristol for 12 months and learn to get barreled. Before we share the starting point of our journey, here is a little taster to prove that we've already had some amazing progression. So where are we starting from? This wave was filmed back in March 2020 for one of our first sessions at the wave pool. It's an advanced wave session on the right reef. As you can see, it's pretty basic stuff, but I'm really happy to be on a new board, be able to catch the wave and trim to the end of it. it kind of shows that it doesn't really matter what level you're at. All the fun and sense of achievement is a relative thing. Unfortunately, very soon after this trip, the wave was forced to close due to COVID and didn't reopen until 1st of August. 1st of August 2020. This wave is on the right reef again, an advanced session, and this is the date that we're going to use as a starting point for our journey. Big question now is, what do you do next? Where do you go from here? What would be the logical step if you knew you were going to be surfing a lot and wanted to progress? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Well, we decided to do what most surfers are going to do, buy a board. Apart from surfing more waves and getting some coaching, which there's a problem with, a good idea seems to be getting a board which is helpful for your current level and has some attributes to allow growth. Tune in to the next episode to see what board we went with, the decision process, how we got on, and actually was it the right board for us.